yeah, nothing says love like something from the grill, but here's what I don't want. I don't want the flare-ups, I don't want the propane, I don't want the mosquitoes, I don't want to get rained out. I want my today special. Chances are you do too. It's a customer favorite. First time ever as our best buy of the day. It's your last look, lowest price in the country on our fabulous today special. Okay, I like to say she's hot in the kitchen. <laughs> Stephanie! This is hot. She is hot indeed. Of course, we always love to see what Stephanie Roberts brings here at HSN. And when I saw this price last night with you and Suzanne, I almost flipped because when the last time you and I did this, and it's a customer favorite, customer pick, lowest price in the country, we sold it. Yep. We sold it out. It became a customer pick at almost $300. Oh, girl, the only thing missing is the flat hair and the humidity. <laughs> Let's leave it out. Right. We don't want it. We don't. We want to do this inside with infrared technology. Look at that steak. I have the perfect sear, the perfect crust. The reason we uh -huh. like our grilled food is right here with that cook to medium juicy interior. And I did it without flame, without nope. fire, without charcoal, without propane, without humidity, flat hair, bugs, heat, rain, and all the other problems. Without adult we language. Have when we go outside <laughs> and with an adult language. This is so much fun. It's been fun all day long. It How has. often can you say I that know. And you're about girls? a sweat. By the way, if you're a huge fan like I am, please, please, please call us. And what's so interesting about this is I was the biggest skeptic because I love grilled food, but I usually would only get grilled food when I go home because I ain't got no honey for the doing. So I'd make my brother do the grilling, yes. right? When I go home to Minnesota. And sadly, poor Ryan works all day and then I'm going to make him grill me bratwurst. So I'm like, there is no way this tastes like the grill. It does. And it's that Philips technology that really sets it apart. Much like the Philips air fryer that you're going to see at the lowest price in history in just a few moments. If people are cruising by the channels, uh, Stephanie, first of all, they're going to say, now what is going on with that beautiful glowing ember of light? And what that is, is that? infrared technology unique to the Philips smokeless grill. And it's what makes this so easy that yes, all of us that swore off outdoor grilling, whether we're female or not, are now absolutely in love. For Let's sure. talk about the technology inside because yeah. this is truly what's unique to Philips and what makes this so different. So inside the Philips smokeless grill, there's infrared heating that is specially reflected up to the cooking surface yeah. by these panels. This is the patented Philips technology. Because of the angle, because of the infrared, every inch of my cooking surface from the tiny corners to the smack dab in the middle and every single edge is exactly 446 degrees. Wow. There's no hot spots. There's no flare ups. Everything is perfectly controlled. So your cooking is perfect each and every time. But then underneath there is something called a stay cool tray. Yeah. And what we like so much about that is that when the drippings from my steaks or my burgers or what have you go down and hit that tray because this is cool. There's no smoke. No smoke. So we are 80% yeah. less smoke than any other indoor grill out there. Because that's the problem with indoor True. grills. You know, we like to bring things inside when the weather doesn't cooperate, when it's winter, if you live in an apartment or a city where you're not allowed yep. to bring the flames out on the patio. But usually you're filling your kitchen up, the smoke alarm is going yes, off, you are. the dogs are whining and yep. crying, and the neighbors just think you're a bad cook. So Philips has solved this simply by the combination of infrared even heating on the top and this stay cool Absolutely. tray. And by the way, this is 446 degrees here and I'm grabbing this I know. with my bare you can hand. See that. You know, just as an aside and not for nothing, again, I love grilled food. I know you do too. This takes all of the no, I'm not grilling tonight. Now you're grilling yep. breakfast. Now you're grilling stone fruits. Now you're growing, uh, grilling breakfast, lunch, dinner, you name it. In the not too distant past, I aired another grill with somebody else mm -hmm. under another name and I won't point fingers, but my hair, my skin, my clothes yep. smelled so bad, I, I had to get in the shower. I had, I had to wash my hair when I got home. Ugh. I actually had to put my clothes in the washer and dryer because we all know what it's like. Right. Whether it's an indoor grill or an outdoor grill, 
you taste that flavor hours afterwards, even if you didn't intend to, because it pretty much permeates everything. And Stephanie, when I keep saying, especially at the lowest price in history, lowest price in the country, lower than the Phillips website, the only thing you're missing are the mosquitoes, <laughs> are the rainouts, are the hot spots, are the flares, are the drips. So the, yes, this is as good as your outdoor grill, but better. Because you'll do things on this you would never dream of doing on your outdoor grill. You'll do cheese, you'll do fish, you could do bacon. You can do all the things that we would love to give a grilled flavor to right. without any of the headaches. And here's the thing when it comes to value, you'll do it 365 days yes, a will. year. And this makes you so much better than you ever thought you could be at the grill. First of all, do you see what I'm doing right now? Holy I'm cleaning. Cow. I am taking just a wet rag oh and I am goodness. wiping off my grilled chicken. No big deal, right? Because this is non-stick on both sides and even in between That's these little grates. So the clean up here, absolutely amazing. One of the reasons why I personally have never wanted to outdoor grill, and I've heard you say the same thing, the cleanup is a pain. It's I can't control my environment. Yes. Okay, maybe it's a, a control freak thing, but it's a quality of my food issue for me. If I have a gorgeous, beautiful piece of salmon oh, and I put it, I'm going to put this flesh down Holy on my cow. grill. If I do this on my outdoor grill, first of all, it's going to stick immediately. I'm going to try to turn it and I'm going to lose half my fish. Second of all, what if I do this and I hit one of those little fatty pockets under the skin, yeah. which happens, all of a sudden I have a big flare up oh. and my $15 piece of salmon is For sure. ruined. It How is. How frustrating. And then you serve it to your guests or your kids and they're like, all right, I'm not eating that. Exactly. You don't know how to cook. That's what yeah. my kids like it's to so tell funny me now. Because for years growing up on the farm, I thought grilled had to mean like charbroiled, meaning black. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I didn't realize that those flare-ups did not have to be part of the whole process because <laughs> there was always like, oh, I got to pick up part of that hot dog. Oh, I can't eat part of that burger. Exactly. Because right? it would be like a cinder block or a piece of coal. Guess what? That wasn't for quote unquote extra flavor. <laughs> that was because that's what regular grilling is. So of course we want to hear from you. It's free shipping. The offer is expiring now. This is your final opportunity. And I will tell you this, even if you forget the fact that we, we're a nation that loves to grill, this, yes, hassle-free, headache-free, beyond that, it's also healthier. Absolutely. So if, if we could just appeal to your waistline and to your vanity, obviously, everything that Stephanie is doing, you're not adding any added fat. You're getting more flavor, of course. Of course. And all that fat is draining away from whatever you're choosing to cook. Burgers, perfect example. Exactly. And I'm going to show you the fat that's draining away from these in just a minute. Because think about what you're able to do here. It's so easy to use. I take yeah. it out of the box. I plug it in. I can do just one or two burgers if I'm only cooking sure. for myself yep. and a friend. But if I'm having a party, I am pulling off eight big Big old burgers oh, off this sure. grill. So you have the capacity you to use this for a party. But on the other hand, it's so simple to use. It is. If it's just me and I just want to have a healthy sandwich, a healthy piece of chicken, a burger on a Tuesday night because I don't want to hit the drive through. Right. Exactly, it's right? It's no big deal. You know, for a great value oh, for dinner. Oh, my goodness gracious. Go check out what's on sale Holy in the butcher's case. Cow. Bring it home <gasps> and put it on the grill, a medium rare burger, wow. just as I would order it. And you know what, you have complete cooking control. Each and every time I cook a burger, it cooks exactly the yes. same. No flare ups, None. no cold spots. I like my burgers medium rare, so I cook them for eight minutes. If yeah. you like your burgers right. medium or medium well, you will learn right away, okay, that's 10 minutes. And yeah. that is exactly the thing. It is never, ever wrong. It is, hey, just so you know, that's a $20 burger in Las Vegas. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it really is. So here's the thing, and you know what, we can't shoot it directly with the camera because of the light, but if you could see what I'm seeing on the burgers, as an example, it, it, there are drippings all the way and down and through that grate. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, here's so, what you can so see. So here, cool. here's what would have been causing the flare-ups. Absolutely. The flames, the smoke, the, the, you know, charred bits on the burger. And the mess on the bottom yep. of your grill. I cook this outside, all of this lands on my grill, it does create the flare-ups, which then ruins my burgers. Yeah. If I cook this on the stovetop, it's absorbing back into my food. It I is. bought a very nice high-end cast iron grill pan from us yep. because when I was living in a condo, I wanted to replicate having an outdoor grill. Yeah. Okay, all that goo 
all this goo sucked right back into my burgers when I cooked them. And oh, by the way, the smart alum, the dog, and the kids were all a whole nother problem. I got my sear marks. It grilled, true. but it didn't give me a good quality end, and the whole process yeah. was a nightmare. And then let's talk about how you clean those cast iron grates. Oh, no, thank yeah. you. Look at the mess I made here with these burgers. I am going and to no wipe worries. this off. No big deal whatsoever. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't matter if it's cheese. Doesn't matter if it's sauce. No, that could doesn't be matter if it's baked on burgers. Nope. No. It comes exactly uh, off. I'm Again, non-stick both sides. This is a revelation. I know you've been seeing some of the customer reviews uh, rotating at the bottom of your screen, but trust me when I tell you you don't get it till you get it you try something like this and if you're someone who is a huge grilled food aficionado like myself but you're not doing it for either reasons of space or cost or time or it's a mess or gosh there's five feet of snow on the ground <laughs> exactly. or now it's hurricane season and it's been raining every day regardless of your your reasons for not grilling now you're grilling cheese again this is the non stick component. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that there is nothing this nonstick can't handle even no. at 446 degrees. So we put some watermelon on because grilling fruit, I have to tell you, if it's not something you've ever done, is truly one of oh, life's it's pleasures. Heaven. It's really because good. Because the sugars right. get released from the fruit, whether it's peaches or pineapple or watermelon, and you just get that initial so sweetness. So then we're adding a cheese that has a little bit more of a salty. This is kind of the salty sweet. Yeah. This is called halloumi cheese. Halloumi. The reason we like to use it on the grill is because it holds together. Sure. It's got a good blackish consistency. Yeah. But when we get the grill on it, it gets kind of that nutty flavor yes. on the top. And then the gooey in the middle. Serve this on a bed of arugula and literally you yeah. are having a gourmet feast. You now, are. how hard is this for me? Not hard at all. No. Because every inch of this cooking surface from corner to corner to the edges to smack in the middle is exactly 446 right. degrees. Now, would you wave your hands within a half uh, inch of your food? No. no, because a flare up could come at any minute and you're singed. Yeah. I have no concerns about anything None. escaping my cooking surface here. Nope. These handles are stay cool. So if I happen to, you know, get vertical and horizontal confused and drop that down, guess what? I can pick this up. I can serve off it and I can reach Beautiful. right down in there with a fork if yeah. I should need to and grab things that I would have never ever done on a grill grate ever. before, like asparagus, like broccolini, yeah. like fajita of vegetables, sliced thin peppers and onions. For sure. I do so many more things you do. because I can. But here's the thing. It's everything that your grill is, but everything that your grill wish it was when it grew up, meaning easy to clean, no flare-ups, no hot spots. And not only that, because it expands your territory, trust me when I say you're going to look at your refrigerator and you're going to say, I'm going to try that grill. I'm going to try that grilled. I'm going to try that grilled. Lowest price in the country. Only time it's been a today's special. We pay to send it to you. It's less than $40. One meal, this will pay for itself. And even if I'm not appealing to your waistline, because remember, fewer calories, but you get more flavor. The other thing I like, Stephanie, is even if you're the type of person who could burn water, <laughs> you can't screw this thing up. Because think about it. It holds its temperature evenly. Exactly. So I don't care if I'm going to look like the grillmeister, whether I know propane from kerosene. Exactly. And Doesn't I don't understand, understand hot spots and cold spots. Like I remember nope. growing up, we were a charcoal family. And first of all, building that whole TP oh, thing please. and lighting it. And that was all way too scary for yeah. me. But then it was like, oh, wait, we got to get the burgers off the center. Push those up to the yes. side. Isn't or that the true? grills that come with double decker because one right. is cooler and one is hotter. Don't understand all that. Don't want to understand all that. Just want it to work and want it to work each and every time. So let's for have sure. the baseball team yeah. over for a party. Let's do Memorial. Memorial Day, 4th of July, Father's Day. All the things that you want to do this summer, you can do now you can. no matter what. You know these hot dogs will be perfect. They will. There is nothing better than a gorgeous there, grilled there dog. Isn't. And in case you missed, I know Stephanie detailed this just a moment ago. Oh, and hey, incidentally, we do have the charbroil. Everybody grills. A lot you, of great ideas. Exactly. Everybody will grill with this, and that's the big difference between any other grill. But uh, one of the questions I know we've had throughout the day is how easy is it to clean? Here's the brilliant thing. Instead of waiting for the grill to cool, and then what are you going to do with charcoal, or how are you going to scrub and soak and soak and soak, and then there's still residual, and gosh, I don't want to put chemicals on that grate because... Food is going to touch it eventually. This all dishwasher safe, but you have to remember, Stephanie was just wiping it out with a damp rag. And then, am I, am I on the right side? Okay. Yeah, you're exactly all right. right. 
This simply slides out, again, dishwasher safe or just wipe it out. And then you just simply, because remember, this is what's catching all the something something, right? Exactly. So the rest of it really stays for all intents and purposes relatively clean. And then you just wipe out whenever, you know, residual might be left that the, the drip tray did not get. Sorry guys, it's such an odd angle there. But easy to assemble. Oh yeah, assembly. You know what? I why am I even saying assembly? There is really there no, is no assembly. There's you no know assembly. what you do? You take it out of the box. Right. That is it. And you put it down, and you plug it in, and you are good to go. I mean, if you have ever wrestled with a typical outdoor grill, yeah. pieces, parts, bolts, nuts, oh, and often Lord. leftover pieces, which really provided me a lot of amusement when I watched my husband do it. But in general, not amusing and not something we exactly. wanted to. Okay, now here's the part where if I were doing a regular grill, I would back up. Abs and look what's happening here. Yeah, I'd be like, mm -hmm. uh oh. No, nope. here we go. I am saucing on full heat right now. And other than a little steam from the temperature of the sauce being a little cooler than the 446 degrees it's landing on, look at that. That yeah. is a smokeless sauce this experience. Is I mean, heaven. that is what heaven. I love. I want my chicken dripping in the sauce. Oh, and sure. I want that sauce to be caramelizing oh, man, right the smell on top. Is Isn't that amazing? Oh, this my is gosh. something we lose with outdoor grilling. We you do. sauce like this with flame under there. Whoosh, you have charred food, but you can get that sauce. I can let this sit yeah. for a little bit. I can enjoy the flavors of my sauces. And once again, I have grilled my wings. Right. So once again, that fat that lives under chicken skin, you we bet. know it's there, it has released and drained off. And I'm left with crispy, crunchy mm -hmm. on the outside, gooey sauce on top because I'm not charring right. it with any flare ups. No. But yet I've got that juicy, moist meat you, in you do. the middle. And by the way, the calories in wings are not necessarily the wing. That's a leaner cut of meat. Exactly. It's, it's in the process of cooking. Here's the other thing about that. Even some of our local restaurants are now charging more money for their grilled wings. It's kind of a new trending right. item on, on restaurants. But the other part about this is we're saying it brings the great outdoors in. So even if it's raining and gray and snowy and cold, it doesn't matter. You're grilling 365. So it kind of makes you feel like even if Memorial Day gets rained out, you feel like you're having a picnic. If you like you're having a party exactly. but there's no reason you couldn't take this to that picnic shelter if there's an ac outlet and have you seen the state of some of those girls families use over memorial day and fourth of july probably because i'm i'm weird oh, about the public ones right yeah, you know what i'm talking about a little bit because right. I, I, what I'm, has been on that what, grate? what has been on that grate? and you know that thing has well, never been clean all right i was just gonna say animals walk on it we, right. we won't get into details i don't want to go show stuff. yeah there's stuff on those there's things. stuff hey, what about tailgates right yeah. i mean i love to get in a tailgate season and we used to pack up one of those small outdoor sure. grills, but what else have you got to pack up? Yep. The fire, the charcoal, oh, the everything. lighter, everything yeah. else. Bring this, use some power source from your car or whatever yeah. converter you have. You are good to go. For this sure. is portable. You can bring this to your mom's house if you're going over there for Father's Day you and could. she doesn't have an outdoor grill. You can bring this to a friend in the city oh, yeah. and have a great oh, patio sure. cookout because this doesn't have right. flame and it's allowed. I do want to show you the two different temperature oh, settings. Just gonna ask yeah, we about haven't that. talked Perfect. a lot about this. So we do our primary grilling on the main setting. You right. can see that big red glow from the infrared yeah. on the can inside. Can you guys see that dial and on the side? This is the 446 degrees. Yeah, okay. we'll get a good shot of the dial yeah. there. there. So this go. is my typical cooking temperature. Right. If I give that dial one click, I okay. also Oopsie. have a Sorry. low setting. Okay. That is 250 so that's degrees. The low. Yeah, exactly. And you can see this pretty yep. clearly when you look inside yeah. the one that's on. Right. So low that's is high. the muted red. Right. There you go. Yeah. And then so here. Here's my Perfect. low with the muted color. There's my high. So you see the yeah. difference? Yeah. So the reason I like the low is that maybe my food is almost close to done and sure. I'm waiting for the kids to get out of the pool. Right. This is 250 degrees. This is what restaurants do. Every True. good restaurant I know, to keep right. your food warm. It is infrared technology. It is a 250 degree temperature. It does not dry out your food. It yeah. will not ruin your grilling. True. It simply backs down the temperature and allows it to stay warm. I love Smart. this just for serving. Yeah. I can make the kebabs. I can leave them on here. 250 degrees, you can work all around this. You, right. can, you can serve right off the top. My wings could be done. I let the sauce sear a little bit more and I leave it at 250. And remember that, that Philips technology no other grill 
has. So just like your innovators and your air fryer we're going to talk exactly. about. Exactly. So it's not like we can say, oh, find this grill or that grill at the other price. Nope. Nobody does it. This is it. This, this is, it. is the only grill that is doing infrared smokeless technology. Think about Philips. They brought us Sonic Care. That was unique. They bring True. us the air fryer with TurboStar that we're going to talk about coming up. That is unique. Yep. And now we have that infrared smokeless technology. What do you got going on there? So what we've done is we've done a Monte Cristo, <gasps> which is basically French toast with ham and cheese in the those. middle. Oh, I thought you good Midwestern oh, girl would you know, know this. I can't resist a grilled sandwich anything. Well, you know and that. you know what? I will guiltily admit I had these for both breakfast and lunch today, cooked right here on the grill because they are so yummy. Oh, that so looks good. this is a way to do some grilling at a time. I would never, ever, ever do it. Oh, yum. Do it for brunch. Yeah. Because again, I'm not going outside in my pajamas fighting the dew and the bugs <laughs> and saying hi to the neighbors. But guess what? I can do that grilling right there in my kitchen. For camping, oh. fire this up and do your bacon on it. For Think real. about the bacon, the yep. crispiness of the bacon that comes off here. And where's all that fat going to go? Yeah. Right down there onto that cool tray yeah. and not back in my food. If you do this for no other reason, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Memorial yep. Day. Honestly, in fact, even if you want to do a side-by-side -side taste comparison, maybe the grillmeister in your family's like, it can't be as good. Exactly. You've got a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, and we almost want you to take that grilling challenge. Because I will tell you, I was the first one who thought, mm, no, I'm always going to like the outdoor stuff better. It, this takes it to a whole new place. When I say it's kind of like what your girl wished it were, I mean, it's everything that it is, but it's everything that it's not, meaning you will do things on this that you don't even pretend to think about with your regular grill. So aren't you excited? We're a nation that loves to grill. Yes, it's fast. Yes, it's healthy. Yes, you can do it. You can't screw this up. You do realize whatever you put on this, it's gonna work. And it maintains that temperature. It's easy to clean. And I gotta tell you, there's something about seeing those grill marks that just makes me smile. Well, and the fact that, that the grill marks are even, they are. that shows me that my food is cooking evenly. True. You know, I want the results. I don't wanna spend all this time mm. grilling only to find out that I have overcooked something because it didn't cook the way I wanted oh, it to. Look at this, this salmon. Oh, that color. Oh, I can't wait to get in here. Look at that color of that salmon. And you know what? Oh, I'm not awesome. even flipping this with a spatula like I'm supposed to. I can do it with tongs. There was not one mm. bit of stick on any flesh surface of that fish. Not one bit of nonstick spray, not one drop of oil. I will tell oh, you crazy. in my kitchen, my two favorite things to do on the smokeless grill are right here. The vegetables Holy and the fish. Cow. Because I'm trying hard to put more fish into my diet. Yeah. And here's the deal. I'm not liking it any other way than grilled. You know, I don't love mm. fish so I need to get that little caramelization in there okay, for me to love what? it. Oh, you found the, the sandwich cheese? and the halloumi. Mm. Yep, exactly. That's a great combination. But this is something where, honestly, you were recommending the taste test for people who were skeptical. Yeah. You can't do this well on an outdoor grill. You can't. And not only have I done it picture perfect on my counter, in my home, or on my patio, you don't smell a thing. There is not one whiff of fish scent here. Do you because know what? You're right. And that's because it's smokeless. Any of the fish oils have drained down onto my cool touch tray, which by the way, I'm touching with my yeah. bare hand while this is 446 degrees. This is the cool touch. Wow. So you can see that there's the fish oil down yeah. there. It's not smoking. And if it's not smoking, it's not stinking. Stephanie, can stinking. I ask you something? Did you do salmon earlier today? I did. We have been doing salmon okay. every single hour you know all so day funny? long. I can always tell if they've made salmon when we do other cooking shows. I honestly, I didn't know. Nope, you'll no, never really smell because it. Because normally, you know, there's, you know. Fish smells, there's it fish, is what it is. Yeah, and I'm like, did you do this really? Because yep. normally I'll walk long. into the makeup room and I'm like, oh boy, they were cooking fish today. <laughs> it was another fish day. I can tell. So it's you like, can do it all and not have to battle no. the odors in your okay, home. Okay, here's what you need to realize. This is your last chance. It's our grand finale. That's why I issue that grill challenge. There's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. You're watching this show. I know you love to grill. But this will open your horizons. You will be, first of all, you will be grilling. Because how many times, you might even like grilled food like me, but we can come up with a million <laughs> different excuses. This is the no excuses grill. You will look for things to grill. You really will. 
30-day unconditional money-back challenge. So if you don't like it, send it back. You're doing like what a little skirt steak? Yes. Oh, so I this is our take steak. on fajitas mm. without the oil. I got to tell you, I am now absolutely in love with skirt steak on the grill, and you will be too. We put a rub on it, but to get this crispy, crunchy on the top, and then look at the middle of that. Look at the juiciness. Literally, I plopped this on the grill, and I walked away. Oh, and wow. there is not a skirt steak that will ever I have this it. much flavor. Again, with that even heating, it is picture wow. perfect each and every time. I will tell you, this has been the most popular with the employees when I'm oh, done cooking. Okay. You know I have to try a bite yep. before everybody Take you know, a little bite there and blow okay. on it because it's a little bit warm. But I want to show you, okay. look at the veggies. Do you see the crispy crunchies of the veggies? Ooh. That's what we want. Isn't that mm. heaven? Now I'll keep cutting because you're going to want some more of this. I will. Oh, that's good. And I didn't lose all those veggies down in my steak cool pan because wow. that's the way the grates are spaced. From mm. the even heating to the spacing of the grates to the non-stick. Let's clean this up because we've been cooking steak back to back. And look at all I have to do. Wipe, 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 wipe. Oh and the word. majority of this wipes right off. No soaking, no scrubbing. Yeah. They make devices to clean your oh, outdoor you know grill. Do. That's how yeah, hard they, they do, are actually. to deal with. I know they do. I own one. Okay, well, so I don't want to do that. Wipe it clean no. and enjoy the end result. So you know what? This is everything that you want with none of what you don't. Even, once more, if I just appeal to your waistline, it's healthier, it's faster, you can't screw it up. But B, you don't have to worry about, there's nothing, hey, nothing takes the romance out like smelling like an onion, okay? <laughs> nothing takes the romance out of a meal if you smell like fish. Exactly. I mean, I'm just gonna say it, you know? You don't want your house to smell you, like fish. You know? There's no loving from the oven there if you smell like the food. So, <laughs> honest, And you do the delicate foods, do. do the fruits, do the quesadillas. Nothing mm. we can't do with this even heating from the steaks Ooh. to the chickens to the cheesy mm. sandwiches. Mm. Do this 365 days a year. What a great value in a smokeless grill. Okay. Well, great value indeed. Lowest price in the country. It, you know, take my 30-day grill challenge. Why not? Absolutely. You'll, you won't find it for a better price anywhere else. Hey, if you want the Everybody Grills Cooked book it's huge there are tons of pictures and there are a handful to grow around 381289 a lot of great you know launching pads to you know maybe get you out of your grill zone make some good ideas make you think about stuff you didn't normally think about uh, there are only 300 of those to go around and then we also have now oh Stephanie we don't have oh here's the burger this is burger press right yeah burger okay. press is an option oh yeah absolutely I like that yeah it's a good way to get stuff inside the burgers oh yeah so yeah, you yeah. take off the top you put your meat in there and what if I want to put some blue cheese in oh, there put oh. some mushrooms in there and you end up with a stuffed that burger that is a good idea and these are big old burgers I, too Daryl did you ever have a juicy Lucy in Minneapolis I could do ju I could do juicy Lucy's with oh, this oh absolutely you could that. <laughs> I've always wanted a Juicy Lucy. Yeah, uh, stuff a surprise right. in there. Okay, a we little love special it. surprise. I'd a little like special that. surprise from Shannon. Well, a little special surprise for those of you who have seen our famous Phillips air fryer for a lot more money. Uh, that's coming up, their exclusive technology. Don't hang up on your today's special. We're back in just a moment. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. We love
love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Stephanie, cooking up a storm, it's like we stole your favorite items from your kitchen. I'm serious. My kids claim if it wasn't for the Phillips air fryer and the smokeless grill, we would never eat. And you know what? There's <laughs> probably something true about That's that. That's funny. I am absolutely proud of it because who oh. wouldn't want these as your primary sources of food? So we talked about how grilling wings is great. Yeah. But the bottom line is to get that true crispy crunchy, you think you gotta fry them, right? But not so. Let the air True. do the frying for you, not the oil. Because you know what you're not giving up? You're not giving up that brown no, you're exterior. Not. You're not giving up that crispy crunch. I can sauce them, I can leave them, I can dip them. You can do whatever. But the key is the golden brown here. Yeah. And I want you to Look see it. Look at that crisp. Not one drop of oil. But no. you know that that is a gorgeous color. Beautiful. And why do I need oil? As you say, there is nothing wrong with a chicken wing. Right. This is a Lean source of protein. It is. When you dump it in a vat of oil right. and it soaks it all up, that's when it gets unhealthy. It, it is. Hey, just so you know, there are only 2,000 of these. And in fact, you know what, Brendan? I don't need, or Jeff, I'm sorry. I, I don't need to walk all the way over there. Maybe we could just show you the colors. The deal is, when this is done, this is done. This is the lowest price in history. Yep. It is super uber limited. Customer pick at the high price. And I will tell you, this is the air fryer that not only convinced America because they were the first ones to bring the air frying technology to the United States. But moreover, they were the ones that convinced us I can have those golden arch french fries without the drive through, without the oil, Absolutely. without the extra calories. 70% less fat in wow. calories when you use the air fryer for things like fries and chicken strips. Unbelievable. 70% of that. something that really you have no yeah. want or desire to have in your body. It's not like you're losing right. out oh. by losing on the oil. It's true. Hey, by the way, the black is gone. I know we're still doing uh, uh, 200 left in the white, 220 in purple, and the remainder in red. It's free shipping. It's lower than even the Phillips website. It's a lo lowest price in history, even when we've done it as a today's special. Yep. And before we show you the technology, because once more, there are other air fryers, but nobody does what Phillips does. I defy you, as you look at these chicken tenders and as you look at these french fries, I almost, I double dog dare you to tell me this was not fried in oil. You'll never know. No, you'll never know. If you were channel surfing, wouldn't you go, oh yeah, that's probably got, you know, 100, 200 calories worth of oil. If you saw this french fry any of these french fries you're like oh yeah that was probably done in oil mm -hmm. you, the only thing you're missing is the calories and quite frankly because it's not greasy and laden with oil I taste the flavor more exactly. with air Exactly, and you feel better you eating it because you're not laden with the oil. You don't feel it on your fingers. It doesn't upset your stomach. You get to enjoy the food. And the types of foods we can do in the Holy air fryer cow. are so incredibly varied. They are. We have put in fried chicken just now without one drop of oil. I put in some Brussels sprouts and laid a flank steak on top yep. without one drop of oil. Now, I could do those Brussels sprouts roasted in the oven. It takes an hour. And I'd yeah, have to turn on the does. oven right. for just a pot, uh, you know, a pan of Brussels sprouts and some steak. You can use the air fryer in place of your oven for practically anything. Oh, I think so. so not only am I getting the crispy crunch that I want out of foods that are frozen, right. like my cheese sticks, <gasps> but I am getting also the ability to do it quicker with less energy because I'm not using the oven. Right. All right, let's talk technology. Let's do it. Hey, by the way, though, this is an abbreviated uh, presentation. So yes, just it is. FYI, A, we only have 2,000. B, the price is done after today, just mm -hmm. like Stephanie's today's special. So basically a couple hundred in each individual color choice. But Stephanie, to your point, there are other air fryers out there. Absolutely. Phillips put this on the map, and to this day, 
No one does what they do with air frying. There is not another air fryer on the market that has TurboStar technology. Philips brought that to the United States. Everything else has been an imitation, yes. but they can't imitate TurboStar they because can't. that is patented and it makes all the difference in the world. So let me show you what's happening that makes TurboStar so special. Other air fryers out there, they have air that just circles literally Right. around a flat surface yeah. so therefore it only crisps the bottom of your food right. the top of your food yeah. as for the middle well maybe if you flip it over or right. you give it a good stir yep. but what you see here that is the turbo star shape of the baking pan that is what makes the difference so that the air goes up down and around your food remember we're not using any oil for the None. crisping we're letting the air do the work but if you have a flat pan like all the others out there yeah. You don't get crispy food on all edges. Then Philips launched with what was the Starfish to give us the original crispy technology. They've made it even better with Turbo Star, yes. which means it cooks faster. We don't have to preheat. Nope. It's quicker than the oven, and that circulation, you can see the difference between the cheap knockoffs right. and Philips. Yep. It's just whether or not your food actually it's true. gets crisp. So, by the way, this is a more streamlined profile than the original, but yes. it still has, what, like a two-pound capacity? Absolutely. Because we take those those bags, you know, from the frozen food section, and you dump, we, it right we in. dump them in. You dump them right in. And you have all the cooking control as you well. Do. I just set my timer for five minutes. I just turned my temperature to 350. I have complete time and temperature control. I put a grilled cheese sandwich nice. in there with a little olive oil brushed on top, and that is it. No butter. No not butter. a bit. No nope. butter on a pan. Nope. No butter on the bread. No butter. No. There is also a great little cheat sheet on the top I of the Phillips the air fryer. Yeah. Just so if you need a little reminder, it, fish right. recommended cook exactly. this. Exactly. long fries, recommended cooks that Ooh, long. Here but we where go. the air fryer became the appliance that my family makes fun of because I cook every single meal in it and I'm very proud of it, is because you can do so much more than just the traditional fried foods. So I put salmon pieces in it and I'm able to get then a veggie underneath. Wait till you see the color of these crispy, crunchy cauliflower florets. Okay, I grew up thinking that cauliflower was a slimy vegetable. Cauliflower is only, no offense, Mom. Cauliflower is only a slimy vegetable when you steam it, and it gets that little bit of a texture issue. So then I learned about roasting. Yeah. Well, roasting takes an hour. You bet it And does. it usually takes a fair amount of oil to get that good crunch on the outside. Oh, sure. And I have to heat up my whole oven. Uh, yeah. So now I, and I have to plan ahead, which is a whole list of things that I don't get accomplished on most Tuesday nights. Or I take my florets. By the way, you can buy them pre-cut. Make your yes, life easy. Yes, you're right. Buy your salmon fillets. Pre-cut. Make your life easy on a week night pop these in the air fryer for 20 minutes I do 10 of, of the flour cauliflower I add the fish on top for another 10 and in 20 minutes dinner is done I didn't heat up the oven I didn't yeah. do a bunch of prep work nope. but yet I did am nothing. feeding a healthy wholesome great yes. tasting meal and if I want to take yeah. a different route, I can take a two-pound bag of frozen right. anything and do the same way. I can do Isn't these shrimp, great? two whole pounds, mm -hmm. toss them in buffalo sauce, and you've got a great Which, appetizer. Which, by the way, you could never do with the other air fryers, and I'll tell you why. Because, by, by the way, I've tried it. I have a couple of different air fryers I like to experiment. I like to cook. Yep. But I have noticed when I use not my Phillips, but again, I own other air fryers as well, that if I dump a full bag in... The bottom will be raw, basically, right. and the top will be cooked. It's, 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 so you end up throwing out half of it anyway. Because it doesn't circulate. Because it doesn't circulate. Absolutely. Hey, if you want the final 120 cookbooks, now it does come with a recipe book, but I, I have this cookbook and I swear by it, it's like a Phillips Bible. There's also a great community around air fryers right now as well. Yep. So 120 of you can get this. Remember, this price is good for today and today only. It's the, oh, there's the item number for the cookbook. Thank you guys. 567110. This is for today. Today and today only a one-shot deal. Your night in the kitchen will never look the same ever again. I mean, honestly, fast food night takes on a whole new meeting. Exactly. No drive-through required. And frankly, not only is this healthier, it's faster than drive-through. Have you ever been at like the Golden Arch place and they put you in that wait line, kind of oh, like yeah. the car Please line for the kids? Please pull ahead. No, really, I'm, I'm serious about Please that. Please pull like, ahead and wait for your food. I really? came here because it was supposed to be fast. Why do I, it's like a car line. <laughs> That's I'm not picking funny. up kids. Good grief. Exactly. All right, I want to show you what I have just pulled out of here. I popped in some little pizza bagels. Pizza, even reheat pizza. Yes, reheat for sure. leftover anything. Yep. Uh, amazing. Because remember, it's crisping. So they actually sell these with a crisper tray. They do. 
it's silver and cardboard looking and <laughs> kind of like, really, I'm going to cook my food on that? <laughs> and they tell you to pop it in the microwave. Or they tell you to put it in your big oven for six pizza bagels. Not, Not needed on any level. No. I'll admit I used to microwave these. Mush, yuck. My kids were like, why would we want to eat rubbery right, bagels? Exactly. Put them in the air fryer. They do crisp it. up amazing. So then you start doing all the pizzas. You do. Little personal pizzas fit in there. We ordered pizza for yeah. dinner last night and that went in there. And then all of a sudden I am able to crisp any you are. single leftover you are. Stephanie, that I before have. You do, well, actually, why don't you cut in this? And then, Jeff, if it's okay, I want to show the array of things that we've done here too. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Pork tenderloin. All right, pork tenderloin, which real, dries oh, wait, out. That's a sign of dinner. It, that is a sign of a grilled cheese coming your yeah. way. This dries out so frequently when I cook it in the oven, but yet Beautiful. I am able to keep the moisture in there. Again, oh, another man. quick and healthy dinner. Right. I put some fingerling potatoes and some shallots in the base oh, of my air fryer. Nice. I laid a butcher wrapped tenderloin right on top yeah. because, hey, you go to the grocery this week and you realize tenderloin's on sale. Right. Great. Why heat up the whole oven yes. for 45 minutes for a tenderloin? For one thing, it's going to dry out. I for know. For another, I'm wasting my energy. You We're are. heading to the heat of you summer. Know what? Do you want a real hallelujah moment? Mom looks like a hero because you know all you did? You put the ingredients in, you set the timer. Bye bye. Yep. Bye set bye. Set it and forget it. You take a shower, you help the kids with their homework. This is a set it and forget it meal. You don't flip, you don't turn, you don't add oil. This takes your frying, quote unquote, to a whole new level. So think outside the, you know, the frying pan. Yes, you can do wings. Yes, you can do the things that the kids love with no oil, no fat, no added residue. Yes, you can do the, your favorite fast food from your favorite restaurant. But you're doing gourmet and a flash. You're doing fish. You're doing salmon. You're doing bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin. Yum. And it's so funny because, I, again, I do love to cook, but my friends who don't like to cook, this is the number one appliance I recommend to them. I agree. Hands down. Because mom wants dinner on the table mom now. Mom wants to get it done. Right, but you know what, here's the thing. Not for nothing, it takes 21 minutes for your oven to preheat. Yeah. If you only did it because it's fast, right? And then there's the fat. Then there's all the fat we're and cooking off. And then there's off. the fat. Okay, so I did my meatballs here. This is one of my favorite mom cheat dinners. I do yeah. it at least once a week. You go to the butcher and you buy, or this works with frozen as well, but I like the butcher's fresh meatballs. Yeah, because me too. They seem like I made them homemade. Right. We'll just, I should have hit the package years ago. My kids would think I'm amazing. <laughs> exactly. However, they know I buy them, and then I put them in the air fryer so that they get that crispy, crunchy brown around the outside. Look at the capacity here. I actually used the rack, which is one of the accessories that you yeah, can Yeah, we only have up. a couple dozen, though. Okay, if you want so the rack. if you want to double your yep. cooking capacity, jump on these, that's because that's did. how I get the two dozen meatballs in there. But think about it. If I do these on the stovetop, I need four, six tablespoons of oil to get that crust, you do. plus all of this meat because you know they're probably using a chuck or a, a right. market ground yes, beef we're not exactly. using anything lean yeah. in our butcher meatballs here this is all draining off yeah. on the stovetop that'd be right. going right back into my meat true. so I am not only saving fat and calories by not using oil I'm saving more fat and it. calories by and letting my food drain you're, you're getting the stress out of your life dinner should not be stressful and I know I mentioned it once but did you hear the sound of dinner I I'm because I live alone I, I actually take pictures of my stovetop to make sure I've shut it off. I mean, yes, I'm, I am my grandmother. I am my mother. <laughs> I really do because I actually almost lit my house on fire. I actually left a burner on and burned like a bunch of plastic bottle spices. Never going to happen, happen with this. A, don't worry about fat as a danger or spitting, but when you hear that ding, dinner's ready. It is shut itself off. And also, I just want to point something out to all of our moms and or people who are just a little clumsy. We've got third degree burns on the top of my foot from that little episode the oh. other night. Don't ever have to worry about hot oil. This is running. Now, certainly it's warm to the touch, but I'm not worrying about, oh, there's fat, there's oil, there's smoke. It's, you know, things spitting out the, the sides. And you can hear it's cooking. So remember, it shuts itself off. No preheating, no flipping, no oil, unless you want to brush, say, the grilled cheese or spray the, this, you know, fish with maybe like a little, you know, that's olive oil. Spritzer. Sure, you can give it a little mist, but yeah. you don't need the oil to cook. Nope. We have cooked everything.
everything here with one tablespoon or less. Okay, what about some roasted corn nice. salsa? This is a great go-to oh, summer appetizer. Here. It makes you look like you have slow roasted corn, either on the grill or in yeah. the oven, then taken it off the cob and made this amazing appetizer. Now, did I hear you earlier? You just took frozen? Yes. Fro so this is a bag of frozen corn, and it is roasted in the air fryer for I've 20 minutes. I've never done Oh, you put that. a little lime juice on there, some avocado, cilantro, tomatoes, Come. and you uh, have oh. the best summer entertainment. Dinner. Or what about this? Do you, do you see the capacity that we're able oh, to do here with the shrimp, the asparagus, which are heavenly right now in season, the tomatoes. I put a little white wine in there, and I use the air fryer Beautiful. as a steamer. Yeah. I can steam. I can roast. Can. I can grill. I can air fry. I can do it all right here. I have not turned on my oven nope. to make dinner in months and months and months, no. and I'm totally fine with for that. For sure. And you know, and not for nothing. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight fryers going. When you, we used to do a lot of traditional fryers here mm -hmm. at HSN. I would look like a big old greasy oil slick. <laughs> I mean, my hair would be hanging. I got the big old oil slick on the T-zone. Yeah. And it would smell. This is such a pleasure for so many reasons. Did you hear that crisp? Oh yeah, here, I'll make it, I'll play with a little. Okay. You hear that crisp? Yep. Crispy, crunchy, yeah. not a drop of butter. Here's something else with Turbo Star. Do you see how that cheese is ooey gooey Whoa. and perfectly melted on both sides of the bread and all through the sandwich? Yeah. That is from even heat circulating. Yep. If you don't have even heat circulating, you, can't you do get it. a pile of cheese on one side, you, do. you get burned cheese on the top side. This is set it and forget it. I didn't yeah. flip that sandwich. Nope. I didn't even glance at that sandwich. Nope. I walked away and let yeah. the circulating hot air do the job. The difference is TurboStar. You will find less expensive air fryers out there on the market. 100% sure. you will. And 100% they do not have TurboStar. That is patented to Philips. Only Philips exclusive. has the circulation. It is exclusive. That goes up, down, and around your food. You want it because if you don't have TurboStar, you have food that doesn't cook evenly. Furthermore, absolutely everything that we have put in this air fryer, we have gone with one tablespoon or or less oh, of oil. Literally, this wow. amount of oil is all that is in anything we have made. Most of it has been zero. But if I do a Brussels sprout or a cauliflower, sure. I do like a, just a little bit of oil, yeah. mostly for flavor, yeah. but also to just kind of get that extra crunch. Before you were talking about traditional fryers, this is what we were using. Yeah. What purpose does this have? Okay, to make it crunchy. Yep. Not anymore. The air makes it crunchy. You can add a little olive oil for flavor, but you do not need no. this, want this, or have any part you, of it in your you body. You don't. And, and, and especially if you do have food allergies, like I have friends who cannot order french fries in a restaurant because they don't know. Even if you ask the server, oh, did they, did they change the oil out if there's fish or fish sticks or whatever, and they're like, I don't know. So they can never take that risk. Not only does this put you in control of your fat and your calories and your diet, I, I swear to you, the food is so much better. As I've gotten older, God only knows a lot of change, changes, but I, my body kind of resists fried food, but I still love the flavor. If I eat regular fried food now, boy, oh boy, I'd pay for it later, and maybe you're the same way, and you pay for it. Boy, fish and chips at your favorite restaurant is Oof. probably, you know, at least a flex pay. <laughs> <laughs> so it puts you in control. Frankly, I, I personally believe the flavor is better because it's not weighted down with a bunch of, you know, oil. Stephanie, I got to tell you, if you do, say, a chicken parm, yeah. do you know how many thousands of calories oh. you're getting in oil to do exactly. something like that? Exactly. So do the chicken parm just like yeah. this. I took a chicken breast from raw, right. did a light little breading in it, so put it in an egg wash, put it sure. in some seasoned panko. Yeah. That's about two minutes right. of effort. I popped it in the air fryer. There is not one drop of oil involved with crisping this chicken breast. Is that about, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, ten exactly minutes. 10, 10 minutes. minutes. And we walked away. In fact, yeah. I did too because I utilized the rack. Oh, wow. And look at so, this. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to be real lazy for you. At my grocer, at my grocery store, yep. they, they, will, they are breaded. They'll bread it for you. Yeah. There so are a lot don't of them. fry it. Yeah. Air fry it. Air fry and it. And you could then top it with I'm your favorite you. marinara or a little cheese. Yeah. Or you could top it on a nice bed of romaine with nice. a light vinaigrette. Whatever you want to do. But I got to tell you, my... 
interest in eating healthy goes up a lot when I can eat crunchy healthy, For you know? Sure. Because you feel like you're cheating. You yeah. feel like you're getting the foods you want to get. But I'm doing it without oil. You From are. the chicken breast to the wings to Everything. the salmon to the pork to flank steak oh, and man. Brussels sprouts. I Again, know. this wasn't an hour in the oven. This was 12 Beautiful. minutes in an air Dinner's fryer. Ready. Dinner's ready. Dinner's and ready. And we had to do virtually nothing. nothing. Set it and forget it. Nothing. So even as good as your cookware is, Stephanie and I, have, we've been talking, we've been talking with you, no flipping, no babysitting no. a stovetop, really no cleanup. Honest to goodness, Stephanie, you have changed our lives. It makes cooking a lot more fun, that's for it sure. It does. Well, enjoy the, your next few days off. Well Thank deserved. You. A lot of, of fun cooking for everybody today. For a sure. lot of well fed people here today. Amen. And healthy, too. <laughs> healthy, All right. exactly. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. All right. Do not, do not, do not hang up on your Phillips air fryer. Please remember that price, just like our today's special, is good only until midnight. So only until 12 midnight. Uh, I have to say, not only the lowest price we've ever offered, but the lowest price you're going to find on that anywhere. Well, we love it when Mark Gill is here, although he, he's not only meat-tastic, we'll talk about that <laughs> later on, but Cuisinart is a brand that everybody is familiar everybody with. Everybody knows it. We Tell you sold what. well over 200,000 different really configurations. Tough. You're still like, my thing. You're, you're, like, you're, you're like a ninja. I mean, I'm always, it's almost hypnotic when you do that <laughs> but you wouldn't dare do that if that were a dull knife i'll tell you what Whoa. i have been uh running with scissors and playing with knives since the early 90s and i've learned a few things all right i've learned exactly what to look for in a knife and these guys have checked every box they don't have. let the price on the screen fool you Ooh. it really is something let's start into it okay yeah. First thing I look for in these knives, and by the way, the colors do mean something. That's the ceramic that we'll, okay. we'll get into in a minute. But the first thing I look for out of the gate yeah. is that knife sharpened on both sides. Oh, true. And if that sounds weird to you, yeah. if you've ever cut into a vegetable and it shoots off to one side or the other, yes. that's a problem. So guys, watch this. Oh, I can't tell you right. how much I appreciate this kind of oh, control in my cow. kitchen. And listen, you are actually seeing this, all right? I'm taking this grape and I'm making contact lenses on live TV, so much so that you can read through it. Told you. Oh, <laughs> now, the other oh, thing I'm looking at. Mark, I'm yep. sorry I have to reject. Here's what's so funny. When I say it, it's hypnotic when Mark and I are on the air. Right. This is a half off sale. It's crazy. We didn't even talk about the price when you and I <laughs> met earlier. And I'm like, wait a minute. You buried the lead, Mark. I tell you. I mean, it's you a can't half beat it. off sale. $24.95. As you do, yeah, let, do me your just, thing there. let me just show everybody you real, real quickly what you get. Because then I promise I'm going to turn Mark loose. But here's what <laughs> freaks me out. Normally, if you go into the big cooking stores, etc., cetera, Cuisinart, it's a name you know and love and trust, right? If I found one gourmet quality, if I found one brand name knife, for $24.95, sign me up. I'm buying as many as I can and I'm right. giving it as gifts, right? We've all done it. This is your entire library of knives. This is your entire wardrobe of, oh, they didn't glue it down? You guys <laughs> might want to rethink that strategy when I'm on the air. I'm not known, <laughs> you know, for my gracefulness. But this is that big oversized chef knife that, that Mark was just demonstrating. Notice you get the knife, you get the sheath. Then, of course, you get this wonderful santuku. That's a seven inch. You get the knife, you get the sheath. This is our uh, beautiful bread knife. You know, utility life, you can call it that, comes with its own sheath. This is that beautiful filet knife. And I'll tell you what, skinning fish, <laughs> I don't even we didn't want to know what's going on in Mark's head. Uh, skinning <laughs> fish, slicing meat. Your, your ingredients are expensive. You don't want to ruin it. And you get the sheath. There's, I know, one of Mark's favorites. Love that one, The boy. sandwich you knife. What. You're going to see why you want that so much. And then the sheath. And then, of course, the paring Gotta knife. Have it. Uh, call us if you're a huge fan of Cuisinart. And I know you are. $8 flex Goofy. pay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so remember, it is only as long as supplies last. And Mark, I got to tell you, the details make the difference. Well, here's the thing, you guys. Here's what I want everybody to know right off the, uh, out of the gate. This is a stainless steel knife yes. at its heart. So right. it looks and feels like a professional kitchen yeah. knife, without a doubt. But these colors are pretty, but they're functional. Yeah. That is the ceramic. Now, let me tell you a little bit about ceramic, okay? okay? That's what they use on the outside of the space shuttle to keep it protected. So if it's good enough for the space shuttle, it's good enough for your celery. So let's get that out of the way okay. real quick, okay? Now, I was, I was talking about features. Yeah. Guys, this actually has a French tip on it. That's a very expensive, uh, expensive feature in a knife. Now, that is the angle 
where your wrist hits your hand. Now, why is that oh, important? Oh, you're because right. Because when you're doing close work, you want to make sure that you have as much control as you can have. Now, listen, the only two important tools in a kitchen are clean yeah. hands and a good knife. Sure. And a good knife is a sharp knife because you want to know exactly where it's going to go through that food, okay? Yeah. So, guys, have a look here. Ceramic is nonstick, won't stain, uh, scratch resistant, yeah. rust resistant. It won't carry over the flavors of nope. food, all that kind of nope. stuff. And, guys, here's the cool thing about our set. Yeah. As you're watching this today, this isn't your choice of. This I is everything. Know. So, guys, this is your 8-inch chef's knife, wow. and we're only on knife <gasps> number one. You can't look at this. that. <laughs> but you know what? It's, I, I have to get these because, it's you know, it's so silly. Even as much as I cook, right. I've got one good knife. Everybody's right? got their everybody's, favorite. Everybody's got that one good knife. Yep. But you know what's so sad about that? I, I've still got it in my kitchen drawer, which means it's getting dull as we speak because every time something gets banged around in that drawer, that knife is dulling. Exactly. And you don't have to worry because it comes with that sheath. Exactly. So it we're going to give you the sheath so you don't have to buy the wood right. thing. So, guys, have a look here. This is our Santoku knife. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, hold on there, big fella. I've seen Santoku knives and they have little divots all the way down. That's why the food doesn't stick. This is ceramic. Yes. We don't have to do that. Yep. No gimmicks here. Guys, here's the deal. Ooh. Nothing sticks to this knife. Terrific. And because I haven't cut half of the knife out, now I don't need a cleaver because I have the weight that I need. So if you're ever having one of yeah. those days and you just need to do this to a pineapple, okay, I'll tell okay. you what, that's the way to do it right there. But if you're not having that kind of day and it's just more of a real world thing, let me show right. you something kind of different. Okay, watch yeah. this. Now, if you've ever tried to cut one of these at home with that favorite knife of yours, that's probably pretty familiar right there. Sure. It's a tough thing, right? Yep. Well, watch this. Sure. The weight of the blade oh, wow. alone. Boy, I should get it for that long. Right? And this is the part that I want you to see. See oh, that tomato there a little bit to my right? This yeah. is what I want you to watch. Guys, this is a ceramic coating. So watch this. It doesn't stick. Oh, it doesn't grab. It doesn't cow. pull. It doesn't bite. And by the way, I'm going to do that one oh, more time. Oh, my God. Goodness. I call this my Andy demo. Andy's my father-in-law because he goes, what's holding that tomato to the board? He's a very crotchety old man. Guys, right, watch this. There. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love him to death. Look at this, you guys. Nothing is sticking to the cutting that board. I love that. Crazy. And Look just for fun. Look that is, too. Right? Just Nuts. for fun, this also has an herb curve. Okay. So I don't need a mezzaluna. Guys, oh, you don't, do Exactly. You? This is your Santoku knife, and it's only knife number two. Okay, that's what's so crazy. <laughs> it, it's a half-off sale, not yep. for nothing. It's so funny, because Mark and I talked about all the features, but then I'm like, you didn't tell me they were half-off. In that voice, it scared her. I did. <laughs> so I'm like, $8.32. Boy, oh boy, if there was ever a day where, first of all, it's a gift-giving season. I don't care if it's for wedding, for anniversary, get these for your Yourself. Right. Because most of us have that one good knife. I think in my parents' house, they got that one good knife. Yeah, my mom's got it too. Right. That well, she's one, got 300 of them right, now. The <laughs> one good knife. And if you can't seem to find it, or if it's dirty, or worse, it's eventually, it's, you know, it's either banging around in that, you know, kitchen drawer. Or you could be putting it in that butcher's block. And by the way, even doing that, which butcher's blocks sell for 60 bucks, right. you're dulling that knife. Every because time you use you're, it. you're putting it back in that wooden case. Well, let's talk about that. Remember what I said? At its heart, this is a stainless steel knife. Now, why is that important over a knife that's 100% ceramic? I'm glad you asked. Because on 100% ceramic, you can't sharpen them. That's the problem. Right. That's why we left the sole of this, the center, that's the core, right. stainless steel. Because here's something I want you to know. Good point. You know, because that's what people always ask. Well, that's too. just it. Whether a knife sure. is 10 bucks or a thousand bucks, out of the box, the blade's the same. Right. It's a matter of being able to sharpen it. Now, this is the demo where I stop everything. Yeah. And I tell people, listen, if you know anybody that camps, oh, hunts, vicious, goodness. you got to wake them up, you got to elbow them, you got to pull them out of bed. Because what you're seeing right now is generally a, a job reserved for a knife that costs hundreds of dollars oh, with a sure. special flex and a special metal. For sure. But because we don't transfer <gasps> odors, because we're razor sharp, wow. and because we never stick, <gasps> Yeah, you just saw that on live TV, and I'm going to do it one more time because as, as far as demos go, there is no demonstration I do with any product that wraps up everything that it's about than this one. This is mind-blowing to Isn't me. Isn't this something, it, you guys? It, it, it is, because I've told you before, I know my bro my brother is that you know outdoor yep, enthusiast know. that he spends a lot of money on those knives. I'll Ready? tell you that right now. <gasps> and, no kidding. Oh, my gosh. And guys, you know real what? deal. And not for nothing, his wife, Angie, they're not pretty enough to be in the kitchen. You know, you know what I mean? They're just, you are, Mark. 
<laughs> I mean, the knives he buys. The knives. The knives I'm with you. No, not Ryan. <laughs> you silly That's what goose. happens when you listen to half. What yeah, yeah really? What? I heard half <laughs> I of that. I have better friends than that. <laughs> That's anyway, our slicer knife. <laughs> there you go. All right. So this is actually one of your favorites, and it's a cool knife. Well, right? here's why I like this one, guys. If you've ever gone to those fancy kitchen stores and you look for like the, uh, you know, the specialty knives. Yes. They're small production runs. Yep. High cost. Yes. But they do specific jobs very well. So sure. when I found out that uh, in this knife set at that price we were going to get a specialty knife, just about lost my mind. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. I have gotten, I've gotten the gears, man. Why are you taking so much time on live national television to make a sandwich? Well, I'm going to tell you because if you're like me and the weekend comes around and you've made that sandwich yeah. that you're not allowed to eat, the last <laughs> thing that you want is a knife that's going to wreck it. So watch this, True. you guys. <gasps> I love this. This is why your oh, your deli guy that. spends so much money. Let me move this to the side. Now watch this. No crumbs are no crumbs. falling. How cool is that? There's no, no crumbs. crumbs falling, you guys. Brilliant. You're going to get that specialty knife in here. I love that. Yeah. That's so By cool. By the way, it's also great for frosting cakes, or even if you th like yep. things like angel food cake that's very delicate and spongy. Exactly. Uh, this is going to be fabulous. I, I don't know what I've been waiting for. I mean, well, I guess it was because at $50, and even though it was a great value then, you know, we can always come up with things to buy for $50. Right. Half off, oh, I'm in. I'm in. So that means it is a 12-piece set. Daryl, I can't even do the math in my head. What is that? Like two bucks? It's crazy. I mean, it's, it, it, it baffles me because you can't get those disposable knives at your grocery store. Now you're just showing off. Oh, what has ever fanned out a grape? Watch this. I'm going to hypnotize it's you with a grape. Off. This is what happens when you've got a knife that doesn't stick, yeah. that has that incredible blade. You can actually take a grape and do something like that with it. Are you Beautiful. kidding me with this? That's the control that Cuisinart gives you. By the way, yeah. what's wrong with us? Yeah. We haven't even mentioned the limited lifetime guarantee. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't tell me about the price. You know, that's it. That's it, she's I'm, done with, she's walking. I'm, I'm done with you. So, limited lifetime warranty, and it's Cuisinart. We have sold over 200,000 of these, well over 200,000 in different configurations. And when I said you were showing off, man, you're not messing around, are you? What. Look at this, you wanna get rid of the in-laws? Start making them sandwiches like that right there. <laughs> Guys, funny. I'm being hard on the in-laws. So anyway. You are, you better watch it, buddy, That's I'll right. tell you. They don't have cable. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> no kidding, this is what it's all about right there. Those incredible cuts. And by the way, this is the first time, I think, that we've offered a bread knife in one of our sets. I oh, love that. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. At Any least, one of these yeah, knives could go for, for the whole sure. set. <laughs> so, you know what? I, I, maybe we get to show... Oh, we are moving. I, I can't show you the whole set in its entirety, but remember, you are getting everything from that chef's knife, the Santuku that doesn't need the little cullens, the little mm -hmm. ridges, because nothing sticks to it. Exactly. Oh, thank you, guys. I'll just scoot on over there real quick. Uh, you are also getting... This is that beautiful bread knife that Mark was just showing off, plus the sheath. This is that filet knife that pays...